Hello, and welcome to another tutorial video for CSCI 2824, Discrete Structures. You've started to go over the complexity of algorithms, but one of the most complicated things about algorithmic, algorithmic complexity is actually proving it. To start, we're going to go over proving big O. When we are proving big O, we are proving that our function grows no faster than n to the p for some value of p. When we're proving big O, there are three things that we need to find. First is the p in n to the p. This is our growth rate. Second, we need to find some constant value c. This ends up getting multiplied by our growth rate. And finally, we need to find some lower range k. This bounds our equation. As an example, let's say that we have a function that is O of n, where k equals 3 and c equals 3. If our function is O of n, and if c, our constant value equals 3, then we have the line 3 to the n. Our k value is 3. We know that if our function is big O of this line, then it grows no faster than 3 to the n after our k value. So our function might look something like that. Now let's go into how you can actually prove an algorithm's complexity given a function. Suppose we have the function h of n equals 2n squared plus 5n log of n squared minus 5n squared. The first thing you want to do with these types of functions is simplify any logs that you see. We can do this as follows. h of n equals 2n squared plus, and now our exponent actually comes outside, so we have 10n log of n minus 5n squared. To start to find our, our bound, we're going to want to split it into individual portions. So we'll look at 2n squared, we'll look at 10n log n, and we'll look at minus 5n squared. For each of these values, we want to find a k value as well as a bound. So let's start with 2n squared. We know that 2n squared grows no faster than 2n squared for all values of k. For example, if n equals 0, then we have 2 times 0 grows no faster than 2 times 0, which is correct. Now, we want to look at our log value. It holds that 10n times log of n grows no faster than 10n times n. This is because log of n is a function that actually grows slower than n. This holds for k is greater than or equal to 1, because a log does not work for a value of 0. We can actually further simplify this down. We can say that 10n log of n grows no faster than 10n times n, which grows no faster than 10n squared. And this is also for k greater or equal to 1. Finally, we want to look at negative 5n squared. It stands that negative 5n squared grows no faster than 0 for all k. This is because negative 5n squared is negative. And so, it will not contribute at all to the bound of our function. This means we end up getting the following. We get that 2n squared plus 5n log of n squared minus 5n squared 
is less than or equal to 2n squared plus 10n squared plus 0. This portion here is our original equation from the top, whereas this portion here is composed of all of the bounds we found for the separate portions. If we simplify this down further, we get that our function grows no faster than 12n squared. This means that we've determined that our c value equals 12, our p value equals 2, and our k value comes from the largest k value we found from all of our bounds, which is k is greater than or equal to 1. This proves our big O bound for the given function. We can say that our function is big O of n squared.